guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Izundu. If you are new here, welcome. Have you come from Tanika's channel? Hi. So today we're doing our second ever collab, Tanika and I. I'm so excited. I absolutely love Tanika. I am so excited to be doing this collab with her. We both love Priceline, so what better way than to share our favorite Priceline products together. I'm gonna have Tanika's channel linked down below and her video as well. We are uploading this at the same time. I would absolutely love for you to show her some support if you have not seen her before, which I'm sure you have because she just reached 10,000 subscribers. I am so happy for her. She is so deserving of it and she's killing it on TikTok. She is about to have a baby. She's living her best life and we're going to share all of our favorite Priceline products. When I say all, I mean top 10 because we've got to keep it snappy. So I am going to, tr as you can see, I've got no makeup on. I'm going to be trying on as we go. Now I don't have a full face. I've only got 10 products, but we'll just focus on the products that I do have. So my first product that I'm going to be showing you is the La Roche-Posay BB Cream in the shade one. This has an SPF of 50. Um, I don't use this as my SPF. I use it as like a tinted moisturizer. It's new to me, but when I tell you, it's like my new favorite, uh, I want to say foundation, but like she coverage product. Um, and I just use my elf sponge, which is my favorite. And this just looks so lovely on the skin. Now I do want to say I used to have very dry skin. Then when I had my first daughter, I went to like normal skin. And then when I had my son, I went to oily skin. So now I have oily skin, which is actually the same as Tanika. It's interesting because the last collab we did, um, I was kind of saying like, go to Tanika if you have oily skin and come to me if you have dry skin. You can still come to me if you have dry skin because I know all about it because I had it basically my whole life. Um, but now I have oily skin. I don't know what to do with myself, but I still love my glowy products. I just have to set it down with like powder, you know? Um, but the thing is most of my makeup collection is dewy focused. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But this is really nice. It's sheer, it's super natural and it's glowy. Oh, and I just love it. It just makes my skin look so healthy. And that's the goal, right? All right, I'm already sweating. Fantastic. <laughs> it's too humid this summer. I live in Sydney and I feel like I live in Queensland, honestly. I feel like this humidity level is not, like this is the reason I don't live in Queensland is because of the humidity. I can't stand it. No shade to Queensland. I actually love it there, but uh, I don't like humidity, as you can tell. Oh, I forgot my little hair clips. Next, we're gonna go in with a bronzer, and this is the uh, Australis Julian Daring Bronzer in the shade Summer Fling. I love this. It's super emollient. It's a really nice shade as well. It's definitely, you know the Mecca Max one, how it's quite cool toned? I feel like this is a tad warmer, but not too warm. It's more of a bronzer, whereas the Mecca Max one is more of like a contour stick. Um, I really like this one. It's so blendable and it's very easy to use. I am gonna contour because why not? I really, really like these that they've come out with. I really like the blushes too, but this bronzer, I tend to reach for just that little bit more. So that's why I mentioned this one. See, it's just like so nice. And over this BB cream, mm, she's a match made in heaven. I feel like Australis are having a comeback because we were losing them there for a second. Their eyeshadow palettes are some of my favorite eyeshadow formulas of all time. They're incredible, but they're also old, so I still have them all. See, I'm just like warming up my face, but it's not yellow. It's a really, really nice tone. There is a darker one as well, if you are darker than I am. But if you are fair to light, this is a good shade. Even like a light to medium, I think this would still be okay. It's a really nice color. So what I just did there is I made my nose too brown. So the excess um, concealer that I had, I just do down the middle. Oh, we do have another cream product. Oh, okay. So I have two blushes, I just realized. So um, I might better use both of them actually. This is the Barry M Fresh Face 
cheek and lip tint in the shade Deep Rose. Priceline now stocks like all Barry M, I think. At first they just had a little bit, but now they have a lot. Barry M is a British brand, I believe. Yeah, made in the UK. Um, really affordable. I have a few of their things, but this is my favorite one. This is so nice. So it's a lip and cheek, and I use for both. And it's kind of got that burnt look that I love so much. If you like these kind of blushes, see how it sheared out? Oh, it's beautiful. So I am going to just do a little bit. A little bit. I might put a little bit on my lips so you can see. And because it's a tint on your lips, it's not like dewy or anything. I love it. I tend to wear this when I'm not doing a full makeup. I do this more as a going out the door kind of product because of the color. I feel sometimes I feel like I don't really need to wear bronzer with it. And I tend to just use my finger when I use it. But it's, oh, it's beautiful. I love this color. I don't really have another blush like it. I tend to go for very warm blushes because I find that cool tone blushes kind of uh, look a little, wash me out a bit too much. But this, I don't know about what it is about this color, but it's super pretty, it's light. So if you're not a bronzer person, you could just use this as a hybrid. Um, it's not a bronze color, but once it's on the skin, it kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of got that color where you wouldn't necessarily need a bronzer if you're not really a bronzer person. Next we have some powder. Now this is actually a finishing powder, but I'm gonna use it as a setting powder because I need to set my face. Um, I'm, I'm too sweaty and I'm too oily. But this is the model's preferred mineral finishing veil. This is not a new product, but she's a goodie. Now this is actually in my project pan because I've had it for a while and I wanna get good use out of it. And now that I'm oily, I feel like I could properly finish it. So this is, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown between setting and finishing powder. Someone actually asked me. And setting powder, it does what it says. It literally just sets your face. It doesn't add coverage. It doesn't add, oh, some of them, are, I mean, it's a powder, it's gonna mattify. But that's generally all it does is set your makeup for long wear. Finishing powder is for aesthetic. It's that extra step you don't necessarily need, like the Hourglass Ambient Finishing powder. So they're a finishing powder. This is a finishing powder. So what you do is you lightly dust it over your face at the end of your makeup. And the reason why it's called a finishing powder too is because it usually has a really soft focus. Not illuminating, but mm, gently illuminating. Like this has got... It's not shimmer, but it's not matte. It's just kind of a really soft focus look. So this is very much like the Hourglass one in a loose form. And I'm gonna use it as a setting powder. It's just, all that means, is it still a powder? All that means is that it's just gonna be not as mattifying, it's going to be more glowy. And honestly, see, it's still a powder at the end of the day. But the idea is to use this, see, nice. Is to use this as like a, finishing at the end of your makeup application where you just kind of like get a really big fluffy brush and kind of lightly dust it over the face to give that beautiful soft focus effect. I like the way it looks because it's not a flat matte. I've been using it as a setting powder so wow it's really rainy now you can probably hear it in my microphone. I have a really good microphone but it's so good it literally picks up every noise. Every noise. Then Oh my god, we actually have a powder bronzer. I forgot. And then we have a powder blush. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Okay, my bronzer is also new to me, but literally, literally obsessed. The Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce. Also not a new product, but she's new to me. And I love it. This I actually think would be a really good bronzer for me in winter time. It's so soft. I love the color of it. It's similar to that um, Australis Cream Bronzer in that it's warm, but it's a good warm for a fairer skin. It's not too yellow. It's, oh, you can even just see how love it, lovely it is. I'm a bronzer gal. I love bronzer. I think maybe because I have red hair, I figured that's why I love bronzer so much. I think it compliments. When I, I used to have colored hair, like pink and blue, I never really wore bronzer. I used to wear just like blush. It's interesting. 
interesting timeline. My makeup timeline really has changed through the years, but I also never did my brows, so I don't really want to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. Love this bronzer. It's just, it's the baked formula, I think. Now, I also have the darker one, Soleil. Um, I have that in my fake tan drawer. I don't love it as much as this one though. I love this one more. It's something, this one has got more of a softness to it. Oh, it's just gorge. It's gorge, gorge, gorge. It's got a little bit of luminosity, but not too much. It's not like I've got highlighter on my face. I just think it's perfect, honestly. So we're gonna go in with the second blush. I've already lost the original blush. I should, I forgot that I had a powder bronzer. Even though it's sitting right in front of me, I forgot. Mm, I don't wanna over, I don't wanna over blush. My blush, powder blush is from Revlon. It is the Naughty Nude. It's just called Revlon Powder Blush. Love that, it's to the point. We don't have a, a whole sentence in the title. Um, and it's a perfect nude. If you don't like blushes in a traditional sense that are really orange or pink or, you know, just blushy, but you still wanna blush, <laughs> Actually, both of these are a good example of that, is if you like a blush but not a, like a traditional pink blush. Uh, this is really nice. It is, it's got a shimmer to it actually. When I say shimmer, like a sheen, like you actually wouldn't even need highlighter if you wore it. If you wore it, I am gonna wear it. Um, but it's super neutral. This is also a blush bronzer hybrid. And it is on the warmer side, which I kind of didn't want because of my eyeshadow. But, we're gonna use it. But see, I don't need highlighter. I don't have a highlighter, which is great, because I don't need one. Look at that. I love it. They actually have other shades I'm contemplating getting. The only thing is it's a little bit powdery, but honestly, the outcome is so nice, I don't actually care. I just think it's such a nice shade. So for eyes, um, I have the NYX Shadow and Liner Primer Ultimate. It's so good. I finished the Rimmel Magnifies eye primer. I really liked that. And I bought this to try as a replacement. They're the same in that they're colorless and then they dry down and they're just a nice, simple base for eyeshadow because I have hooded eyes and I also have oily hooded eyes. So it's not a match made in heaven. It's certainly not what you want, but this definitely helps. The eyeshadow palette that I have is from Kind Collective. I have done a video on this. If I can find it, I will link it for you. This is the Color Theory Eyeshadow Palette in Gold and Bronze. Gold and Bronze? I thought it was cool toned. Oh no, it's pretty neutral actually. I think that'll be fine with the blush. So this is what it looks like. There were other shades, but this is the Gold and Bronze. Now this is a pretty basic palette. This is not Natasha Denona level. However, she's reliable. A really light shade here, just all over the lid because my base is quite tacky. And it's quite affordable too. I remember I got mine on sale, so I don't know the full price. I can't remember what I paid. But it's it's a decent palette if you like shimmers that are soft. If you don't like intense pigment, this is that kind of palette. And for me, on an everyday basis, I actually don't like intense pigment. I like simple palettes like this. Kind of like how Nude by Nature, oh, that's a good palette too. No, that's a good palette too. I have the rose one. But this is similar to that, and it's just like a nice, easy, reliable palette. So then we're gonna go in this light brown shade. It's gonna be a pretty simple look. But you can kind of see in action how easy this is to blend and apply. There is a bit of kick up in the pan, so note that. Like I said, She's not a Natasha de Denona level. So don't go, if you wanna buy this, don't go in expecting that. But if you're someone that likes just like an easy palette for every day, this is it. And then I will go in with this darker brown. I don't wear a lot of black. I usually go for just like a deeper brown in the corner, but there is a black if you want that. I've not even touched it, so I couldn't even tell you the quality of it. Maybe I could do like a little tight line moment. And then I'm gonna use the other side of this brush. This is just from Flower Beauty. Doesn't have a name, but it's like a double-ended brush. I find it easy to use. I haven't used this one. This is a pretty shade. This one here, this is a shimmer. We'll see how it performs with a brush, but if not so good, I will use my finger. This is really pretty. I really like these shimmers. Now there is a little icy shimmer shade in here. 
that I'll use in my inner corner and a little bit on the brow bone. I said I was going to do a little bit of black. Um, I'll use this brush that I used for my inner corner. I'm going to use the tiniest bit of black just so I can tell you my thoughts on it. I mean, it's going over these three layers of eyeshadow. Hmm, actually that's really nice. It's just kind of deepened up my lash line. Ever so slightly. Now, lips is just a quick gloss, so I might just do the tad, little bit more of this lip and cheek from Barry M. Just to give a little bit of color. <laughs> I do usually wear this gloss with a lip liner. Um, but I don't have a lip liner that I'm talking about. So let me just quickly do a little bit of a lip line. And I usually like blend the lip liner in. It's just a nude lip liner. And then we have the L'Oreal. I don't actually know what it's called, but I'll have it linked down below. But it's the Plumping Lip Gloss. And the shade is Eye Amplify. And it's, just, it's clear, but it's like a pink shimmer. And it's great. It does have that like minty zing to it. But you can see the pink flat shimmer. It's it's too pretty. I can feel the plumping instantly though, but it doesn't sting like those, some of those really intense ones do. And my 10th product is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I love this. I had a little mini that I got in a set um, with a bronzer and a primer, and I fell in love with the setting spray. I finished it, and I wanna go back and buy the full size, because I think it's that good. It fully locks in your makeup. It's quite incredible, and that's what I look for in a setting spray, is long wear um, with no finish. So no, not matte, not dewy, just setting my makeup for the whole day. I love setting sprays for that reason, and this is the one that I Actually, I'm going to repurchase because I love it so much. Okay, so that is the look with all 10 favorite products from Priceline. Make sure you go over to Tanika's video and check her out. She's going to have some great products. She's got great taste in makeup. She tends to do a little bit more cool toned as well. So we do have a different aesthetic, but at the same time, we're pretty similar, aren't we? You get like two for the price of one over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And please subscribe if you are new here. I'm sure and hope you will love my future videos. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.